Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode of the Course Building Secrets Podcast. I am thrilled you are here today. Hey, if you are watching on YouTube, I am in a new location today, so just wanted to change it up a little bit, give you a sense of a new background. And uh, so, uh, you know, appearing today from my uh, sun porch. So uh, in this episode, I want to talk about scaling your business from the inside out. So often we think about growing and scaling our business by acquiring new customers. And so that constant churn of getting new people in the door and then being able to help serve them as you continue to build a relationship with your customer, help them get results and do all of the things. But I want to just like sort of, uh, you know, put that on its ear for just a second and talk about how to actually grow and scale your business by focusing on the inside of your business and the opportunity that that provides for you. So what happens is you grow your company, right? You, you get you know, new customers in, if you're um, really strategic in your marketing and your sales, you're able to continuously get people in the door, which is amazing and it is a, a vital part of uh, growing your business. On the flip side, the, the big challenge that you have once you get all these customers in is how do you deliver a consistent experience to them one at a time, as a group, as a, a packaged program, doesn't really matter, but how do you deliver a consistent experience for them so they get to their desired result, right? So, so often when we first get started, what we're doing is we're helping one customer at a time and we're like, okay, yep, we're gonna help them get the result and we're gonna do everything in our power to get them that result. But that's not sustainable, right? That's not scalable because you can't possibly grow and scale helping one customer at a time, right? You can at the beginning, but eventually you have to figure out a different strategy or hire a bazillion people, right? In order to get your customers a desired result. And so that's when, when you start looking at growing and scaling your business, there are lots of factors that go into that. But today I wanna to talk about the, the delivery experience that you provide for them. Because again, when you're just starting out, it's really easy to put together kind of a draft or we call it an MVP of your core offer, right? You're showing up, you're providing them a high level of service because you're just doing whatever it takes to get the result. At some point, especially when you add in a lot of people, you have to change that model. We call the first model, the MVP model is like duct tape and paper clips, right? Like you're just like figuring it out. You're putting in some, maybe some um, core systems, but what tends to happen as you grow and scale is that you add another system or you change this system or you evolve to this random thing. And so eventually what starts to happen is, is you, look, um, you look at your operations, your delivery systems, and it's like, eh, feels like it's a little messy, but hopefully nobody will notice. But as you continuously put people in, it starts to build this chaos. Your customers see it, you see it, your team sees it, everybody is sort of experiencing it, but it's really hard to unravel, especially in your if you're in high growth mode. So when we look at scaling from the inside out, what we're doing is we're just taking a little pause and we're looking at what is the infrastructure, the foundational infrastructure that you have put in place so that when you scale, when you add in more and more people, it doesn't break your systems. What are the processes and training and, and various things that, that you're building in your business as you add staff, as you add team, as you add additional programs and additional sort of offerings that you wanna help your customers with as they continue to ascend in your offers? What does that look like, right? How do we streamline that so instead of 42 million things, it's the right things at the right time for where somebody is in their level? Right, so we, a lot of times when people are experiencing this, there's a lot of um, customer complaints. There's a lot of confusion as to like, do I do this? Do I do that? Like, what's happening, right? Or your team is overloaded and there's errors or issues. I was just at a conference, and um, and there were so many little indicators that that the business was out of control 
like the the owners sort of had lost control of the business as they grew to a particular size that it started to really make a difference with the customers that they had right they had their highest level of customers at this event and and they were asking questions like well if this is like unorganized or there's all these little kind of little tiny issues i wonder if these little tiny issues are also happening in in the systems and the fulfillment that they're doing right like are they not paying attention to my um my stuff that they're um taking care of are they not looking at the details that i need in order to be successful right so it starts to sort of just it's this um this small murmur and then it continues to get louder and louder and louder until you have um a, kind of a mass exit of people that you if you would just had solved kind of those sticky problems would have um continued to have those people be in your world forever right so the first thing is like do you have an infrastructure set up or is it confusing like do you have stuff going all over the place a lot of times as companies are growing that's um that's one of the things is like there's multiple logins there's multiple things happening that that may or may not actually serve your customers and then are your systems and your processes within your team within your business are are they kind of wonky are they starting to get a little out of control are they put together with duct tape and paper clips and you, and you know intuitively that it's time to sort of you know kind of put that back in place but you're just not sure how to do it or you are running forward continuously building the business and you don't um and you don't um, have the time talent or experience to be able to kind of deal with what's happening inside the business um and the third thing is like like what is the actual um orchestrated experience that you're providing for your customer right so it's sort of like if you go to the doctor and you go to the doctor's office and you say well i have all these symptoms right like there's all this stuff that's going on and they're like, oh, well, what do you think it is? Oh, you know, and then you say, well, I don't know, like I've Googled it, maybe it's this. And the doctor says, well, yeah, that could, that potentially could be it. Or, you know, it could be these things. What would you like to do about it? Right? Oh, well, I, I don't know, like you're the doctor, you're supposed to tell me, right? And so it would be that same experience. And, and the experience that tends to happen in bis high growth businesses is that they forget that their job is actually to lead the customer down the path that they're recommending to get to that desired result, right? That customer is paying you to get to the fastest path to their desired result. And that's your whole job, right? But so often we forget that and we we forget that like when we go to the doctor, we're going to the doctor to get the prescription, right? We're to get the the, the roadmap for like, okay, so here's what you need to do, right? First, we need to put it in a cast and then you need to go through physical therapy and then you need to um you know start start um start doing things just you know sort of a little bit and then you can increase your repetitions as you go right like so the 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 doctor is you're going to the doctor to get the answer the the doctor is saying here it is like here's here's my recommendation based on my experience it's exactly why your people are coming to you right they're coming to you for that that um that, that fastest path they're coming to you for the prescription. They're coming to you for the answers. And they don't necessarily want to have to try and figure it out on their own when they come into your world. And so this is a third big category that I see people struggling with is, is because they've grown either so quickly or they have grown without having a, a really solid um, success path or signature framework that the customers start sort of driving what's happening and it causes chaos for new people coming in. It causes chaos for the people who are trying to build the business because they're they're building it with their people. But there's all these people who are going to continue to come come into their world because you want to grow, right? Like the whole goal is to grow the business, right? So you can't just have this one group. So you want to continue to evolve with them and take them on this journey and and keep moving forward but you can't forget what's happening back here. And, um, and a lot of times that's the confusion starts to happen when, when um, owners and leaders stop paying attention to the journey 
um, that they're taking their people on. So, so often the solution to that is to create levels, right? Like here's, here's the new person, here's the intermediate person, here's the advanced person. Each one of those people needs a different um, path. They need a different experience, right? So if you think about um, scaling a mountain, if you're on the bottom of the mountain, you have different needs and different ways of doing things than you do if you're at the summit, right? And, or you're coming down or wherever you are in the mountain, right? And so when you look at your customers, those that's like a critical success uh, factor for companies who make it or companies who don't make it. When your customer is confused, they do not buy. You know that, right? When your prospects are confused, they do not buy. When customers are confused, they do not stay and they do not participate. And so they leave. It is so much more expensive to continuously be finding new customers versus keeping the ones that you have and moving them up to higher and higher uh, ticket programs, to higher levels of experience that you can provide for them, right? And so if you, even if you think, take one customer, let's just, let's just like go through one customer. When you look at your business from the inside out, what you're doing is you're saying, what is the highest level of value I can provide for my customer? And define that. And then how do I get the, give them the fastest path for them to travel on their journey to that desired result? And then where are they in that journey? And then you can create a personalized, automated way to get them there. And, um, and that's where the magic of scaling your business comes into play because you cannot physically um, make up something for each customer over and over and over and over again. You can't scale that way, right? Like you can't go from one to 8,000 people by doing a one-off kind of reinvent the wheel every single time um, experience. You could try, but then you're gonna end up with chaos, right? And you're gonna end up with where most people sort of start to see everything break down and then maybe get burnt out, maybe leave, maybe say, I, I'm not impacting the people in the right way or I'm not able to get them results. But it's not that you're not able to get them results, but what's happening is you're trying to, to do all of the things and so you're diluting your focus. One of the things that we do when we help our customers is that we help them put the right systems in place, right? The right foundational structures, the right process and procedures, systems, all of the things so that they can create something that's engaging and, and helps people actually get to their desired results and makes it into something that is a predictable, repeatable, on-demand um, or hybrid experience that helps people get to that, the different levels, right? Without having to reinvent the wheel and spend all of your time trying to unravel the mess or deal with the mess that's been created. And so at some point, every business goes through this and they have to determine what are the steps that they're going to take to do this and how fast do they want to go through this sort of messy middle. Um, and so that's where we come in, right? We're the fixers. We come in and, and help to put so, to kind of calm the chaos and, um, and put the right systems in place and create awesome digital experiences that help people actually get results without having to show up live every single time because it's possible and you can create it with your highest level of service and not actually have to repeat or reinvent it every single time. And that's such a critical piece is that until you can get a repeatable um, engine that helps people continuously get results regardless of when they come into your world, you won't actually be able to scale in the way that you want to, to, to get to that next level, right? Wherever it is, whatever level it is that you want to get to. And so you can do that through, um, you know, digital experiences, through programs, through uh, products, through courses, through um, coaching, through whatever it is that you can come up with in terms of your delivery system. But each delivery system has a set of sort of standard um, systems and 
and um, approaches to it that help you actually get the results that you're looking for. That's what we help our customers do. So when we're looking at helping people scale a company, we're doing it from the inside out. We're starting with the customer, customer experience and journey, the delivery systems that you've put in place. And then once you actually get get those new customers, you you acquire those customers, You have they have a strong path that allows them to not just have an awesome experience when they come in, but to continuously have an awesome experience forever, right? For the whole life of your programs and products that you have. Once you do that, the the sort of the internal burnout, the, the chaos that you're feeling goes away. And then you're able to confidently step into the best version of yourself and how you can help serve at the highest levels because you're not dealing with all of this stuff that, um, that takes up time, energy, and effort as you're building. So hopefully this episode serves you. It's a little bit different than sort of a course building tip or, or secret, but I'm going to tell you it is the difference between com- companies that continue to grow and scale and those that are like, I, I don't, I, I can't do it anymore. I, it, I, I can't do it, right? You're spending a ton of money on acquiring customers and then they're all leaving or they're all complaining or they're all confused or they're, you're, you're trying to just constantly put out fires all of the time because you're trying to accommodate and and um, and deal with every little situation that's going on um, and you're doing that it's at scale right like you can either like duct tape and paper clip at scale or you can create a business that helps to serve you and your life and your um, dream to grow in a way that um, that allows you to skyrocket your success without all of the crazy. So if you're interested, like if, if you're in that place and you're feeling that pain of like, yeah, I kind of feel like there's either I'm headed that direction or um, I'm in the middle of it right now and I'm just not exactly sure how to shift um, into the, a different level of, um, of service, of fulfillment, for your people where you feel like you're in control and you're not just constantly putting out fires, uh, give me a shout. I This is literally what we have been doing for the last 25 years is helping businesses create uh, a, a framework and structure for how to um, provide the fastest path to success for their teams, for their customers, and for individuals who are hoping to go from where they are today to have that transformation, have that behavior change, have that skill um, built that they don't have um, today, right? And so if you have a big dream to impact your people, if your people have a big dream to be able to change their lives, I see you. I know you're trying to make that happen. There's an easier way than like through brute force and grit, right? And, um, and so if you are in that place where you're starting to feel that way, or you're just like, you feel it (laughs) and you're ready, um, give me a shout. Even if it's just to have a conversation, I'm happy to, to chat. Um, this is the difference between creating a business, um, you know, creating a course, a program, a, a education powered business that serves you or one that sort of is a monster that overtakes you. Um, and I would love to help you with that. So um, it, you don't have to struggle. It, building a, a strong foundation for your business doesn't have to be impossible. And it doesn't require a big staff, a big um, you know budget in terms of an off. Like it doesn't require all of the things. It just requires a few strategic tweaks in your business so that you can be on the right track to helping uh, your people create bigger and better results. So hopefully this episode serves you. I will see you on the next episode.